Video games are the most successful media industry in the 21st century. Among the various genres, shooter games are decisively the most popular in video games. Commonly, these games test the player's reaction and movement. In shooter games, the player uses a weapon, usually a gun, to shoot the opponents and get resources, bullets, medicines, or better weapons. Although there are countless shooter games on different platforms, they can all be tracked back to one game. Doom. Doom, developed by ID Software in 1993, is the original modern shooter game. Since its debut, over 10 million players have played the game. Doom impacts and even shapes the shooter game as it introduced 3D graphics and first person to the mainstream. Throughout the four iterations of Doom, the core of Doom remains unfazed, to kill as many enemies as possible. This core value of Doom is, to an extent, inherited by modern shooter games like PUBG, Fortnite, Counter-Strike, and Call of Duty. Shooter games commonly adopt the value of Doom and create an emotional experience of violence aesthetics, presenting the cruel beauty of war and killing. The game This War of Mine, however, takes another approach. The goal of This War of Mine is to arouse the awareness of the players towards the suffering of people in modern war. This unique goal is inspired by the suffering that the developers experienced, specifically by the 1992-1996 siege of the Sarajevo during the Bosnian War. 11bits, the developer of This War of Mine, is formed by a group of developers from Poland and include people who experienced the war. This experience and historical background of 11bits endows them with empathy and are determined to spread it to more people. Instead of killing, this war of mine focuses on surviving. It is not a soldier simulator, it is a wartime civilian simulator. A simulator of misery, a simulator on the other side of the barrel. After understanding the purpose of 11 bits, what factors are designed specifically to make this war of mine different? Images are the prime factor of a game. In order to construct emotions, 11 bits adopts unconventional colors, light keys, and art style. Firstly, it is clear that this war of mine uses gray colors while Doom-like games tend to use bright colors. The color choice of Doom-like games is designed to excite the player, while this War of Mine uses gray colors intended to calm the player so that they can emotionally immerse into the story of the civilian who suffers in the war. Second to images is lighting, which changes the atmosphere of the game. In Doom, lights in many levels change rapidly in order to make the player nervous and stressed. On the other hand, the light in this war of mine is used to create an atmosphere of seriousness. In the game, most of the areas are dark with only a few lit spots to draw the attention of the player. This lighting creates the feeling of a noir film. Thirdly, the art style of this war of mine makes it unique in the shooter game genre. Doom and mainstream shooter games are made to be as realistic as possible. However, this war of mine pursues the art style of pencil drawing. This art style not only makes the gray color scheme natural, but also indicates that the game is a suffering memory of the past. Aside from visuals, auditory sense also plays an instrumental role in forming atmosphere and shaping emotional experience. Both IT software from Doom and 11bits uses background music and sound effects to enhance their games. However, due to the distinctive design goal, the choice of music are completely different. For Doom, since the game is divided into 4 episodes with 10 levels each, the developer chooses different music in order to hit the central idea of each level. All the music in Doom share some common characteristics. They are loud, heavy, and quick paced. This selected style of music enables the player to stay in a high alert mode. This war of mine, however, chooses a slow, quiet, and peaceful music style. In the game, the time is divided into day and night. The characters stay in home in daytime to rest and produce necessary resources. 
The background music of the home scene is quiet and relaxing, used to create relieving experience and arouse the player's love towards a safe home. During the night, the background music changes depending on the location of the character in play. They are quiet and give a depressing feel. The pace of shooter games are usually pretty quick considering these games rely on the player's reaction speed and movement. In Doom, it is very important that the player is able to run, kill, dodge bullets, and fireballs. The game also encourages the player to move fast through the design of the opponent's level and music. This fast pace is made so that the game is exciting and makes the player feel crafty, powerful, and intimidating. In contrast to other shooting games, the pace of this War of Mine is noticeably slow. Since the daylight part of the game focuses on the production and life, it is naturally that the pace of this day is slow. The night part of the game, however, focuses on resource gathering and killing, but unlike common shooter games, it is relatively slow paced. This pace is designed intentionally in order to convey the war civilian character's lack of threat. Although the characters can be criminal by taking food away from old couples, the characters can easily be killed by soldiers. The slow pace indicates that in order to survive the war zone, a civilian must move carefully and methodically. Although in common shooter games, characters are a lone wolf who save the day by themselves, surviving in a civil war is a totally different story. In Doom, the agent of the player is an unknown space marine. There is no introduction, no background story, no name. He's a mystery, a symbol of the desired image of the players themselves. After four installments, he's referred to as the Doom Guy by fans. The player can see what the Doom Guy sees. It is clear that IT software never intended to make him the main focus. He is a dream, a digital extension whoever plays the game. This war of mine intended to present the life of real people in a real war. Instead of one unarmed soldier, the characters range from journalist to fireman to a retired teacher and a chef. Each character is given a name, characteristics, and habits. Every time a new character is introduced, a short abstract of his or her life is presented on the screen. The characters have different move speeds, cooking skills, and preferences for coffee, alcohol, and cigarettes. The detachment from a specific character is designed consciously to make the point that everyone is a victim of war. Death which is an unescaped feature of shooter games, has totally different meaning across the various genres of shooter games. In common shooter games like Doom, death is frustrating since the player must restart the level. Death loses its meaning in the common shooter games. Since death is an unescaped part of war, it is heavier in this war of mine. In order to depict death, 11 bits made the game save once a character dies so that there is no way to bring that character back to life. Once the character dies, they disappear from the game forever. Other characters have to live on with the memory of the player and have an understanding of loss. This War of Mine makes the character a real life person and dies like a real person so that the player can realize the suffering of a real civilian in war. The ending and the campaign of these games are important to their developers' intentions and values. In Doom, the characters are dehumanized and digitalized into pixels. The goal is to kill all that can be killed, collect as many resources, and explore all the possible routes in the game. This characteristic is revealed in the end scene of each level of Doom. In the end scene, the movement of the player is evaluated by the percentage of enemies killed, items he picked up, and the past that they have been through. It is clear that killing in Doom loses its meaning completely and is viewed as a show of skill that is encouraged. The ending of this war of mine emphasizes its design goal even at the last minute of the game. 11 bits ended this war of mine with the future of the characters in mind. The player will read what's going on in the lives of the characters after the war and realize that their future is also determined by the player's choice in the game. If the player kills too many innocent people, they cannot live with their own consciousness. The theory situationism states that our behavior is changed when considering the situation. 
meaning that our personal traits don't apply. According to this, our behavior is based on external factors. This war of mine and doom can be applied to situationism. The same action, killing, makes people feel completely different based on the message and how it was delivered by the media. Situationism is the theoretical basis for emotional response based on media. Media theorist Marshall McLuhan argues that media has the ability to numb people. Not a numbing in a physical sense, but mentally numbing. Our society is constantly in a media feed making it virtually unavoidable. As a result, McLuhan theorizes that we are being desensitized, with our senses dulling from noticing all the media stimuli. McLuhan explains that the numbing is a defensive mechanism by the body to deter new sensations. This theory may be true for common shooter games like Doom, as the game focuses on providing visual stimulation. In order to provide maximum stimulation, the game tries to numb the player so that killing is meaningless. Otherwise, the common moral role which considers killing as bad may hamper the player from getting the most joy out of the game. By placing the character in an artificial environment where it is far away from their real life and with unreal creatures, the designers of Doom deliberately numb people as McLuhan argued. Although McLuhan's theory that media may be negative and create stress may be true for common games, he should realize that this is not arbitrary. He would consider this war of mine as an exception to his theory. As previously mentioned, this war of mine is a survivor-based game allowing the player to witness the effect of war on a civilian. The developers seek to stimulate a feeling of empathy, something that wouldn't necessarily be true in McLuhan's theory. These new mediums like video games were past McLuhan's time, so perhaps his theory is outdated. Aside from video games, movies like To the Moon, Undertale, and Farewell My Concubine are meant to share empathy, not none sensation like McLuhan theorized.